<laughs> Thank you very much, Victor Howell. Wide receiver Traquan Smith joining me. You're something about you in the record books. When Breeze broke the career yardage record, you caught the pass, and then he tied Peyton Manning, you caught the pass. That's a big honor, right? Uh, definitely. You know, I just do my best to try to get open every time, you know, I'm in the game. Because, you know, Drew does a great job of going through his read, you know, just because if you're not the first progression, you may be the third, and still a chance you're going to get the ball with, with Drew in the game. And, yeah, he uh, seemed to found me. When you broke the yard, when you guys broke the yardage record for Breeze, it was your first career touchdown. I think at the time you didn't really know what to do. You knew what to do tonight, didn't you? Uh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> on the one that I, I, I thought, you know, we, uh, he broke it. You know, I, I knew what to do this time. Don't drop the ball. Go give the ball <laughs> to the man. So that's what I did on that. So, um, yeah, I knew what to do this time, definitely. Drew had one incomplete pass tonight. I mean, not only does he break the all-time touchdown passes record, one incomplete pass. You've been around him, uh, you know, almost two years now. Have you ever seen a sharper night from him? Um, honestly, no. Uh, just the offense was really rolling tonight, and uh, by the time I look up at the uh, at the billboard, um, it's, it's, what, 28 for 29? I'm like... <laughs> Oh my gosh, this, this, this man is elite. You know, he yeah. definitely, you know, came out here with a mindset that he was going to make it happen tonight, and he, he did just that. You know, just, you, you know, everybody's seen his really greatness. He always talks about winning, but you saw when he broke the record how emotional he got. You know, just watching him, what went through your mind? Uh, man, I, I believe everybody on, on, on his staff and his organization, you know, in the building was happy for him because uh, he really deserved it. You know, he come out and, and put his heart on the field every single time and not, not just on the field, but his preparation and practice and everything he does is just so professional. You know, everybody was happy for him and, you know, you could tell the look on his face and just the way he carries himself, it, it really meant a lot to him tonight. The defense played so well, but they've had a lot of injuries this season. The offense played so well against the Niners, and you play well again this evening. What is it about this offense? Seems like you're catching your groove at the right time. Um, definitely, you know, uh, every uh, weekend and week out, Sean was talking about, you know, it's, we still didn't play our best game. And, you know, when we played the 49ers, we still didn't play our best game. And then when we came to play today, we played, we made, you know, we, we getting back in our groove, like you said. Uh, but, you know, in the locker room uh, after, the, after the game, we still didn't play our best game still. But uh, definitely when we, we, when we get rolling, you see what happens when we rolling. We rolling. Right. Talk about you as a wide receiver compared to last year. How do you feel a, a year later? I know you had a lot of injuries last year. It seems like you're much more comfortable now. I'm um, definitely much more comfortable. Uh, I know my plays, like the back of my hand. And uh, just, you know, everybody's around me, you know, they keep uh, cheering me on, keep talking to me, you know, saying they believe in me, they need me. And that, and, and that means a lot, you know, when your team really needs you, you know, you feel like you got something to prove, but not to them, to others. And it just feels so good. It makes you, you know, kind of emotional, like, man, I can't let these guys down. Michael Thomas is always going to be Michael Thomas, but with Jared Cook stepping up, you stepping up, I mean, how good can this offense be moving forward now? Um, definitely, uh, man, it just shows that, you know, they can't double somebody on this team because right. if they do that, somebody else is going to have a big night, you know, and we, we be waiting on that. You know, we like, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all go double Mike, man. Now it's time for us to sign, you know, but uh, like you said, Mike Thomas is going to be Mike Thomas. You know, ball comes his way. Yeah, he's going to catch it regardless. Your team guys finally, but on the sideline, when Drew's getting close to breaking the record, are you thinking, I want to be that guy? Maybe you're going to be that guy? I mean, is there conversations at all? It was no conversations, but uh, I thought about it, and if I would choose somebody to break the record, I would want it to be Mike. You know, he right. has an outstanding year, and, uh, you know, um, and he probably, if he win MVP or not, not, but I wanted him, if he doesn't win MVP, this would be like, you know, kind of in my eyes, MVP for him, you know, to go on the record book was Drew, because uh, he's having a phenomenal year. So if I was to, we don't, we didn't talk about it, but if I was to have, want somebody to get it, I would want it to be Mike. But uh, congrats, congrats to Josh Hill for getting it, you know, sharing that with Drew. Good answer, though. How about this? You haven't been in New Orleans two years. Already two huge catches from Drew Brees, breaking the career yardage record tonight, tying the most touchdowns. Traquan Smith, Mr. Primetime, will have much more, including Drew Brees from the Dome. That's the story for now. Back to you guys.